All right, if you have been waiting for the safest and unsafest neighborhoods in Northeast Calgary, this is the video for you. We are in the last video part of our series that all about the safest and unsafest neighborhoods in Calgary and all the different zones, the different quadrants. And so if you found this helpful, you like this video, make sure you share this, check out the other videos as well. But we're gonna start with the unsafest neighborhoods in Northeast Calgary right now. Number five is actually Marlboro. So Marlboro has a 90 day sold median price of roughly $465,000. It has a median household income. And again, the household income numbers are from 2015 from the last census that we have, which is that their number in Marlboro is about $74,000. The largest age group in Marlboro is about 30 to 55, but the walk score is 55. So a walk score is something that tells you how walkable is the community. Can you get around and do your day-to-day -day things that you need, grocery shopping, even just going for a walk, things like that. Um, how walkable is the community with, with not needing a car? And so we've noticed a trend on all the other parts of the city too. The higher the walk score in different neighborhoods typically means it's a little bit more unsafe because more crimes are happening because people can access the community a lot easier without needing a car. 79% of the homes here were built between 1961 and 1980. Now this is the fifth unsafest community in the Northeast because it has the rate of 25 crimes for every 100 people that live there between the years of 2017 to 2023. Coming in at number four is Vista Heights. It has a 90 day sold median price of roughly $271,000. There's mainly like townhouses in there. Uh, so that's why this uh, median price is a lot less than other areas. Uh, it has a household income on uh, the median from 2015 was about $77,000. And the largest age group in there is from, is people that are in their 30s and under the age of 10. So again, it's probably young families um, when you look at the age group uh, combined with the property type. The walk score there is 69. That is a very high walk score because you can get around. There's a lot of things you can get to uh, without needing a car. And 63% of the properties there are all built between 1961 and 1980. And this is the fourth most unsafe community in the Northeast because it has a high ratio of 28 crimes for every 100 people that live there. Now, number three on our list is actually an area that I think might be a little bit of a hidden gem uh, in the Northeast, and it is Albert Park or Radisson Heights, kind of two different names for the same area. The most recent 90 day sold medium price there is about $276,000. And the median household income there is about $64,000. The largest age group living there is 25 to 40, and they have a walk score that's 36. So it's actually really low compared to all the other unsafe neighborhoods on this list. 55% of the homes, they were all built between 1961 and 1980 and the number of crimes there is 31 crimes for every 100 people that live there. And why I say this is a little bit of a hidden gem is there are some lots that have incredible city views in Albert Park. The problem is, is you're kind of still in the Northeast and you're tucked right beside Forest Lawn there. And so it is a transient area. Uh, you're not gonna be able to do these infills and sell them for millions of dollars. Um, it's just a different type of area. But if you're looking for something that is much more affordable, that is, again, kind of an inner city location where you can see downtown really easily, this might be something you wanna consider. And just south of Radisson Heights or Albert Park, is our second unsafest community, and that is Southview. Southview has a most recent 90 day recent median sale price of about $497,000, and the household median income is $67,000. The largest age group that's there is between the ages of 45 and 65. So it has an older demographic living in that area, and it has a really high walk score of 74, because again, you have a lot of options, a lot of things you can walk to, uh, in a lot of directions, right? Uh, and 48% of the homes there were actually built before 1960. So you've got a lot of older properties, probably a lot of renters, uh, different types of profiles. Uh, but this is the second most unsafest neighborhood in the Northeast part of Calgary. 
because it has 43 crimes for every 100 people that live there. And to go to our number one unsafest neighborhood, I mean, basically it finishes the little trio. You got Albert Park, you got Southview, and just east of those communities is Forest Lawn. Forest Lawn is the unsafest neighborhood in the northeast part of the city and it's 90 days sold medium price is about $380,000. It has a median household income of about $58,000 and 50% 50 of the homes there were built between 1961 and 1980. The largest age group there are those in their late 20s and in their 50s and it has an also a high walk score of 69. So you can get around, there's a lot of things along 17th Ave that you can find. And this has the highest, the most unsafest crime rating uh, because it has 44 crimes for every 100 people that live there between 2017 and early 2023. So you're gonna notice a big difference here in the walk scores between the unsafest and the safest because the average combined unsafest walk score is about 60. Now the safest communities, that is about 30 is the score when the average when you combine them all. And number five on our list is Applewood Park. Applewood is kind of a nice area. And actually I used to live there when I was tiny, tiny. And the most recent 90 day sold medium price uh, in Applewood is $498,000. The median total household income uh, is $84,000 and 48% of the homes were built between 1991 and 2000. The largest age group right now is between the ages of 20 and mid 50s. So it's really spread out between kind of your early 20s and your late 50s or your mid 50s. And the walk score there is a lot lower compared to the other areas on the worst list, which is 25. This is the fifth safest area in the Northeast because it only has 11 crimes for every 100 people that live there. And these kind of numbers, 11 and less crimes per 100 people, we're kind of getting on par with a lot of the other um, unsafe communities in other parts of the city. So these are actually fairly great areas if you were trying to find some good communities that are affordable in the northeast part of the city, you want to check out Applewood. And you also want to check out our next community, which is Saddle Ridge. Saddle Ridge has a 90 day median sale price of $485,000 with the median household income of about $93,000. 34% of the homes are built between 2000 and 2005 and 34% are built between 2006 and 2010. So we should just say 68% of the homes are built in the early 2000s. That makes sense. So it's actually a newer community in that sense compared to a lot of these other areas that have homes that are built in 1990, 1980 and less. The largest age group here are those that are under the ages of 15 and those that are between 25 and 44. So you have a lot of families that are living in this area and their walk score is also very low and it's about 32. And this is the fourth safest neighborhood because like Applewood, it also has 11 crimes for every 100 people that live there between 2017 and early 2023. All right, we are to the top three, the best three communities, the safest ones in the Northeast. If you're finding this helpful, you like this type of information, like this video, share it, please subscribe. And if you want to see kind of the whole city, all of the numbers, all of the things, all the communities, we're considering putting together some kind of report. So put a comment saying you'd like to see that if that's something that is intriguing to you. But on to number three, which is a great community called Monterey Park. Now Monterey Park is further east that is probably kind of right on the edge of the city there as we head out, but there's new stuff being built, but it's kind of right on the edge of 16th Ave and you're kind of heading out of the city. It's on the east end of the northeast part of the city. It's 90 days sold medium price is about $515,000 and the median household income is about $90,000. All the homes or 64% of the homes I should say were built between 91 and 2000 and the largest age group there are those that are in their late 40s and those that are kind of between 15 and 25. So you have kind of like aging adults, right? So you have families that live there but they're grown up and now they've kind of got late teens, mid twenties, you know, I've heard that 
kids aren't leaving home until they're like 28 now. So maybe this is where they're staying. They're all staying in Monterey Park, maybe, I don't know. But this is the third safest neighborhood because it has a lower walk score of 25 and because it only has nine crimes for every hundred people that live there. Oh, sorry, I saw a beard hair. I was a white one. I'm getting old. Now, number two on our list is a community called Terradale. Terradale has a lot of its homes, but 43% of them were built between 2001 and 2005. So it is somewhat of a newer community, but it's not new, new. New, new? Sure. It's not new, new. So the most recent 90 day median sale price there is right around $485,000. And the median household income is about $88,000. The largest age group there are those that are in their 30s and 40s, and it has a walk score, which is probably the highest on this safest list, which is 45. And so this is the second safest community because it too has only nine crimes for every hundred people that live there. Now we are on to number one, the safest community in Northeast Calgary. And can you guess it? Do you know what the community is? Well, let me give you some stats. Let me give you some information and see if you can tell me what it is. So it has a sale price, a median sale price over the last 90 days of $640. $40,000. That is way higher than everything else that we have talked about in this video. It also has a household median income of $115,000, which is also way higher than everything else. 80% of the homes here were built between 91 and 2000. So it's a little bit new, older. It's not a new community. And the largest age groups there are those between 15 and 30 and those that are in their 50s. So again, you've got kind of older kids living with parents is what essentially is there. It's got a low walk score of only 27 and it's the most safest community because it only has eight crimes for every hundred people living there between 2017 and early 2023. And do you know what it is? It is Coral Springs. So if you find this information helpful and you wanna see other areas of the city and what their rankings are, head over to this video and we'll see you there.